What's up gang, welcome back to my channel and today I have a new video, a movie review, so excited about it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on the bell when I'm be, to be notified when I'm doing more videos again and hope you enjoy. Alright guys, let's dive into the Thor Love and Thunder review. Off the bat, the humor in it, I loved it. I laughed, I chuckled, including the goats. Like the goats screaming for no reason, which is funny. Every time they crash into something, they scream. It was funny, and I love movies with humor in it. Like, humor in movies works. If it works, okay, yeah, throw humor in it. And it worked in Thor. The humor worked. So that's one thing I will say. I love the humor in it, especially the goats. The goats were just <laughs> funny. I could still hear them. Like, I saw the movie last night. I woke up this morning. I could still hear the goats screaming. So... And then let's get into Christian Bale. Like anything Christian Bale does is just fun to watch. It's fun to watch Christian Bale from Batman, you know, to now he's playing a villain. So it's awesome to see what Christian Bale can do. And I love the villain in the movie. So the God Butcher, I love him. Like Christian Bale played good. He did good. Not that like my opinion matters, but I just want to say that Christian Bale is a good actor. So. And then we have the return of Natalie Portman, Jane Foster. What a legend. I mean, the Star Wars prequels, and now she's in the Marvel movies. So, the mighty Thor of Natalie Portman, Jane Foster. Doctor Jane Foster, I should say. Sorry, no disrespect, but Doctor Jane Foster. And then we have the soundtrack. I love Guns N' Roses. So, the soundtrack in Thor was just magnificent. Why? Because... Guns N' Roses works in the movie. I was every time like I heard a Guns N' Roses song, I was just sitting in my seat, just jamming it out. Sweet Child of Mine, and then Welcome to the Jungle, just magnificent. And Marvel has the money to like pay Guns N' Roses like that. They're just throwing them out. They're just tossing out dollar bills of Guns N' Roses, cause why not? Marvel's got the money for it. They said we want to use this song, this song, and this song. Guns N' Roses said. There you go. So, that's, yeah, that's another thing is Guns N' Roses. Uh, what can I, there's nothing bad to say about this movie at all. Everything works. Okay, this movie was magnificent. I loved it. You, If you haven't seen it yet, you should too. If you're in the like movie, if you're in the comic books. Well, even if you're not, I mean, still go see it. But other than that, I loved it. I will say it again. I loved it. So, I can't wait for the next Marvel movie, which is Wakanda Forever, the last one for Phase 4. And I can't wait for the next Thor movie, too. Zeus. Yeesh. Zeus was a little on the chunky side. But Russell Crowe, come on now. The guy's a legend, too. Russell Crowe, anything he does, I watch. It was Superman's dad, so... And then now Zeus... Man's just, he can do it all. Although he was a little, Zeus was a little chunky. I mean, he was kind of swollen, Zack Snyder's. Justice League, Zeus. Oof. But, everyone has a different take on God, Greek gods, so, what am I to say? Go see Thor if you haven't. I loved it. I seen it with my friend and my brother. We both loved it. My best friend and my brother. We both, all, all of us loved it. We are just like, ah. Oh. So, I recommend you guys go see Thor Love and Thunder. Because I loved it and you will too. I hope. I mean, if you don't, eh, oh well. But, that's my review on it. A solid view. Worth the money. Cinema. This is cinema. So, and that's my review, guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Turn on the bell to be notified when I'm doing more videos again.